Hey everyone, it's Brian Porter for the Porter Pickups, Porter Guitars. I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite tools that I've used over the last probably 10 years or so. This tool has been one of the biggest time savers. It's been one of the, the best thought out and design tools. We are talking about the Fret Shield from Music Nomad. This one happens to be Fender Scale 25 and a half. You can get these in other scale lengths. It allows you to attach this to the fretboard and to work on your frets as a whole without taping the whole fretboard. If you've ever tried working on frets or you've done guitar repair for a while, you know how much of a pain in the butt it is to tape off the whole fretboard. This saves you a ton of time. You just put this down. There's a slot along here to attach rubber bands that is included with this shield as well. You can hold these down, hold it to the neck, and start working on your frets. You can use it for fret level and you can use it for crown and polish. As you can see, this one has already been worn out. I've probably done about 10 fret jobs on this or so. Uh, let's go over to the bench and let me just show you visually how it works. Uh, these are very, very affordable. They also have the individual ones. If you're just working on one fret, that's great. You can kind of just put that individual fret shield down. This has been an amazing tool. And I'll talk about, um, yeah, just how it looks over at the bench. Let's jump over to the bench and I'll show you on one of our guitar necks how this works. Okay, over at the bench here we have one of our guitar necks. This is a Macaster Ebony board. This has a Spanish cedar back to it, and then we use these threaded inserts in the sides. So when you're ready to work on your frets, all you have to do is make sure, again, you have the appropriate scale length. They have it written here at the bottom, so 25 and a half, which happens to be what our necks are. And you'll just set it there and then you can put those rubber band straps around the neck to hold it in place while you're working on it. You don't want it to move around too much. Now in this case, I have 22 frets. So let me show you the end of this here. I've got 22 frets. So there's a little bit of overhang, but if you've got a 24 fret guitar, that's great. Sometimes this moves a little bit, but I do like that they have a handy pegboard hook in the back. Um, as you strap it down, there's there, your last strap is here and then you've got uh, seven, eight frets or, or so that are at the end. So one thing to watch if you're working with these is that this doesn't move too much, you know, that this doesn't come up and you miss, miss polish the frets. So as you go through here, then you can work on your fret leveling process. It's really nice as you're marking the tops with the Sharpie that to make sure that you're not hitting the fretboard or coloring the wood that also protects that as well. And you can even go through and use like your fret rocker while this is on and check the leveling of your frets while, while you're going. So that works really well. We use their leveling beam here in the shop as well. So that works really good to, to get all those frets level. But my favorite part is honestly the crowning and polishing. So you can sit there and do all your crowning and polishing while this is on and as you run through your higher grit. So when you're getting up into your thousand grit, polishing 800 grit, up into erasers, papers, whatever people use for frets, um, everyone kind of has their own thing. Then you can actually go through here and do a polishing this way or this way, whatever your technique is, work up through all the grits. You can even leave this on and run it over to a buffing wheel or put some polishing compound at the very end to get the nice shine on the frets. So again, I highly recommend this fret shield from Music Nomad. Probably one of the best investments you can make into your guitar repair ventures. If you're not sure about it, it's still helpful. It's still good to have this. You can lay it down and again, you're not worrying about scratching or a file slipping. Um, anyone that works on frets enough knows that's a nightmare if your, your crowning file slips and scratches your fretboard. Um, just a genius tool. Um, very, very simple, but very effective and also very cost effective, which I think I appreciate a lot about the Music Nomad stuff. So check it out.